Wireless networking has become the predominant mode of communication between people and their devices. By applying methods from communication theory, signal processing, and machine learning, Dina Katabi has enhanced efficiency of these networks and used wireless signals to develop new ways to sense human activity. I work with wireless signals. I use these wireless signals to understand people and understand the environment because they reflect from the environment and reflect off our human bodies. Papers written by Katabi and her collaborators focus on filtering out the interference that occurs when multiple nodes transmit concurrently. They model how signals mix in the air as a code, then offer algorithms to decode these signals. In the process, interference is reduced and data flow improves. In recent years, Katabi and her students have pioneered the use of Wi-Fi signals for sensing applications. This remarkable ability, quite literally, to see through walls, makes it possible to sense humans behind them, track their movements, and even surmise their emotional states. So in Star Wars, you keep hearing about the, uh, the Force. And wireless signals, at some higher abstraction, they are very much like the Force because they travel in space and they traverse walls and occlusions. And what happens is that after they, they go through occlusion, they reflect off the human body. So, if you can sense this reflected signal and understand it and be able to interpret it, then you start sensing humans that you cannot see, that they are behind walls or occlusions. The practical possibilities hold promise. Improved search and rescue, better care for the elderly and disabled, even the ability to measure human vital signs using a reflection of the radio signals that come off the body. Emerald is a device that is more or less like a modified Wi-Fi box that sits in the background of the home and uses the electromagnetic waves, the wireless signals, to understand the health of the occupant of the home. And without any uh, sensors on the body, it can get metrics like uh, breathing, heartbeat, sleep, sleep patterns, mobility, and it aggregates that information and provides it to the caregiver. Dina Katabi works closely with her collaborators and her students in her research. Without the students, nothing is possible, really. It's really a team effort. It's, it's all about bouncing back ideas and talking together and developing things together. As mobile connected devices increase in use in countless applications, both large and small, and society becomes increasingly dependent on them, the contributions of Dina Katabi are meeting these challenges in highly original ways. I really like interdisciplinary work. I like to be able to do everything that is needed for solving the problem. I think about a problem that I'm interested in and how to solve it. 